Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, tell me how. Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, let's do it now. Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, you're the one that makes fishing so much fun. Well, I woke up this morning and I headed for my pond. Meet Mr. Pond Boss, yeah, we're gonna chase us some. Hi, I'm Dr. Amanda Quillen. I'm an environmental consultant for Vertex Water Features. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about one of the most important water quality parameters that you can measure in a lake, and that's dissolved oxygen. Um, aside from the water itself, dissolved oxygen is probably the most important parameter that you should follow in your lake to determine if you have a healthy pond. Right here I have a dissolved oxygen meter and they come in various forms but this one actually measures dissolved oxygen with a light just like they use in hospitals when they put a light on your finger to see the dissolved oxygen in your blood. So when you lower this into the pond, um, one thing that you might notice is the dissolved oxygen in the top of your pond can be a lot higher than it is in the bottom of your pond and that's due to stratification. At the bottom of your pond you have a lot of organisms that use up the oxygen in the lake and then at the top of the pond you have algae that are actually making oxygen plus you have access to the atmosphere. So there's lots of oxygen in the top whereas the lake at the bottom there's not enough oxygen for fish and um, little animals to grow. <laughs> So um, if you want to track dissolved oxygen to make sure that you have enough habitat for your fish, it's probably a good idea to look into getting a dissolved oxygen meter with a cord that's long enough to get to the bottom of your lake. So we can drop this oxygen meter into the water and I have my rope marked off in two foot increments. And right now we're about two feet beneath the surface and we have a dissolved oxygen measurement of 8.09 milligrams per liter at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a very good oxygen level. Anytime we have anything over six, we don't really have to worry about the lake at all. And now we can drop this down um, until we uh, feel the bottom. And it's nice and weighted so that we can feel when we hit the bottom. And what we see here is down in the mud, we're at 65 degrees, and this time of year we do expect the water to be about the same temperature at the top as it is at the bottom. But we have our dissolved oxygen is below one milligram per liter. And that's pretty common in the sediments where we have a lot of bacterial activity and the bacteria use up all the oxygen. So here we're at the middle of the water column, and it's only slightly lower than at the top. We're at about seven and a half parts per million or milligrams per liter of oxygen, which anything above six is great. Anything between four and six, we start to be concerned and want to know what is the problem with the oxygen level? Why is it reading a little bit low? And if it's below four, we start to worry about fish. To raise a big old honking moss back, line breaking tack, tearing up moss back. Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, tell me what to do to make all my Lunker Lake dreams come true. 